for medications for the treatment of autism. Well, in the treating of autism, it's, the medications are always symptomatic. That means that there's no medication that actually treats the underlying problem. We're always treating the symptoms associated with autism. Now, we have one FDA-approved uh, medication for autism. That's risperidone. Risperidone is indicated in children 5 to 16 years old who have irritability uh, associated with autistic disorder. This can look like aggressions towards others, self-injurious behavior, hurting themselves, head banging, uh, picking, biting, um, temper tantrums and meltdowns, uh, and then lability or quickly uh, changing moods. Now, although this is the only FDA-approved medication, doesn't mean that's the only one that's, that's prescribed. Remember, we're treating symptoms. So there's four different symptom clusters that I use to decide which medications I'm going to use to treat children with autism. Anxiety and compulsions, hyperactivity, inattention and distractibility, and thirdly, social difficulties. What the anxiety compulsion may look like is rigidity, oppositionality, having rig rituals, uh, perseveration or compulsions, or just in, in generalized anxiety. For this cluster of symptoms, I might use something like an SSRI medication, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, like fluoxetine or sertraline. I prescribe a lot of sertraline in, in my office for this cluster of um, um, symptoms. Uh, the good part about uh, these medications is there aren't a lot of uh, serious um, side effects. Definitely need to discuss it with your doctor who's, who's prescribing it. There's a few things to talk about. Um, but not much in the way of uh, permanent organ damage or things that are more concerning for families. Um, a second class of medications uh, which can be used for this is that FDA medication, risperidone, or possibly some other sort of neuroleptic medication. These are strong medications, usually very effective, but come along with some side effects that you'll want to talk to your doctor about. A second cluster is hyperactivity. This is hyperactivity, impulsivity, aggression, irritability, impulsivity being that, you know, if you sit a child down in a calm environment, um, they know the right decisions to make and maybe make the decisions, but in the heat of the moment, they might act, what parents will say is out of character. To me, that tells me a child's having impulsive behavior. For these hyperactivity and Im Im impulsivity symptoms, I m use similar medications I might use to, for a child with um, ADHD. They're stimulant medications like methylphenidate or uh, dextroamphetamine. Um, very effective uh, class of medications. It's one of the medications I like to prescribe because uh, they often work and often work dramatically. Um, side effects with these medications are more common. Things like appetite suppression, insomnia. Sometimes families will say, oh, my child is kind of blunted or flat uh, when they take it. To me, that just means they're on too much usually. Uh, but a very effective class of medications which have been life-changing for a lot of people whose children with autism have this hyperactivity and impulsivity. A third category is inattention and distractibility. Again, ADHD, inattentive subtype, or um, ADD-like uh, symptoms. Again, very common in the preschool, kinder, um, first grade uh, uh, children. Um, these um, ADHD-like symptoms often get confusing, and parents wonder, is this even autism, or is it more um, ADHD? A lot of times this has to do with um, non-preferred activities, uh, so when children are very attentive and able to engage in preferred activities, a non-preferred activity they may have a very short attention span for. Again, this is going to be similar to how I would treat a child, a child who has ADHD inattentive subtype. I might use a, either a stimulant medication or possibly a selective norepinephrine reuptake in, in, in inhibitor, um, atomoxetine. Um, uh, atomoxetine has a similar side effect profile to stimulant medications, although much uh, less um, severe. For example, there may be a little bit of appetite suppression, uh, sleep, sleep disturbance. Sometimes families on sertraline will report having uh, more explosive behavior and irrit irritability, uh, which is one of the, the side effects of the medication I have to stop the medication for. The last category is social difficulties or social aloofness. Um, that might look like uh, expressive language delay. Language pragmatic um, deficiency, that's the um, difficulty using your language to communicate effectively, and just aloofness, um, having uh, little interest in engaging other, other people appropriately. Uh, for this class of um, 
cluster of symptoms, I would also use selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, fluoxetine, sertraline, and would also consider something like atomoxetine. Um, finally, does autism go away? We'll be talking about that in the next chapter.